Hello, welcome back. Uh, this is show two of my modern develop tutorials. Actually, it means show three because show zero, we installed the IDE. But um, it looks like it's doing pretty good. This is one of the tutorials that you may want to skip because the items seem so fundamental. Personally, I think it, they're important, so I, I bring them up and I put them in a, in a video so I can be thorough and you can find this information on the internet. In fact, you found it on the internet. I happen to be on the internet and this is the information that you would find on the internet. So, let's go. But you, the only problem is you can't cut and paste from a video. Remember the last um, tutorial, we just basically went through each one of these words and outlined it out. Now I want to talk about variables and types. Basically, I just want to talk about type everything in C sharp is an object and that's the approach that I will be taking but before I go there I'll digress double bar is comments you want to have in between oops wrong one in the mid and you can also have it on another line next line so those are comments having said that let's talk about variable types and I got this table like I said from the internet and you're on the internet so type namespace and value this bit this is to become evident I cut and paste each one in. S byte. It's a byte size. It's an integer value between 128 and 127. Think of it as a small int or tiny int for your MySQL type of people. Um, if you remove the negative sign, you can go up for, uh, um, in further in the positive. So if you remove, in other words, that's what byte is. It's just unsigned. And that seems to be the pattern. Short is the next size up on the integer list. It's in 16. And of course, there's unsigned short, which is also integer 16, but without the sign, it allows you to go up higher, but same range. There's um, the most common, and I say this, the most common um, variable type used, int. I see it used in for loops, I see it used in arrays, I see it used everywhere. And basically, it's really under o overused because you have all this negative bottom that you could, you're you wasting. And actually most for loops probably can get by with a, a byte. But anyway, <laughs> I'm not here to be picky or whatever. I'm just telling you that it's the most popular. Um, with int, there's the unsigned int if you remove the negative values. Um, haven't seen much of that used. I see long used, and I see long used for like, I don't know, keys and stuff like that. So again, um, people use long and they only use the upper end. Um, there's the u long, or the unsigned long. I think I inserted another row here and again if you take away the negative values you can go twice as high as the in the positive there's float and float appears to be um, what I think for like real numbers or whatever coordinate you know graphing and stuff like that um, double if I would need if I need a bigger number to be more precise Decimal I use for money type. You get, the neat thing about decimal, you can set the two decimal value, how many decimal places you want to maintain. Char, um, it's a Unicode character. It's basically all the characters on the keyboard. I don't know if I've mentioned, I'll mention this twice. These are all, this is really what it's an object. S byte is really this object. Char is really this object. Decimal is really this object. So, or and it's of that class. And you can inherit and all that kind of stuff. 
I won't go there yet. With char, there is string. And string again is its own fundamental type by the C sharp rules. And really, it's, um, it's, it's the string object. And you'll hear a lot about the string object being immutable. And all these objects are immutable, but I won't talk about that either. And was there anything else? Oh, yeah. Bool. Um, Boolean. Uh, here it is. Yeah. This is pretty commonly used, and I sort of see it declared sometimes with a capital B when it's spelled out Boolean or the, the small, small p. Anyway, that's these are the types. Keep coming back. Next tutorial is on objects, and I'm having a good feeling about these tutorials. If you didn't watch all of this, you didn't get to this part, or maybe you went all the way to the end, like this tutorial. I know it's fundamental stuff. Fundamental stuff needs to be liked because people need to see the fundamental stuff if they haven't seen it. I know you've seen it. Now you've seen it, at least. And you found it on the internet. Bye.